If you go on YouTube right now and you type in chest workout and you watch one of these fitness models do his flat dumbbell press, you'll find that 9 out of 10 times the form is completely wrong. In fact, the form is so terrible that these people are going to get injured sometime in your future. They're either going to strain a pec, strain a shoulder, and of course they're going to require surgery of some sort. So if you're trying to copy what these guys are doing, which unfortunately consists of the majority of the population, I suggest you stop doing that right now and instead listen to what I have to say. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do dumbbell press correctly, how to do it safely so you don't get hurt. I think we're all in this iron game to stay healthy, to make sure that our joints don't hurt. This is very important. You may think that what you're doing now is right, but chances are it's wrong. So let me break this down, right? So here's the deal. Most guys, when they're doing the dumbbell press, it can be any angle. It could be incline, flat, whatever. They are, one, flaring their elbows out completely to the side. This, my friends, is a recipe for a disaster. It's a huge, huge problem because what you're doing when you flare this much is internally rotating your shoulders. That's also going to bring me to, on to another point. When guys do side raises, it's this precise motion right here that's causing them to have shoulder pain. Internal rotation. Same reason why when they do upright rows, they're having shoulder pain. This is not a good position to be in. So if you're dumbbell pressing with heavy weight and you're pressing like this, you are literally straining your shoulders to the absolute max. Now, what do guys do to prevent themselves from getting pain? They do half reps because they know, people know for a flaming fat that if they go too low with their arms flared out, they're going to have all kinds of pain in their pecs and shoulders. So they do half reps instead. So what you see is a quarter repping movement. Almost everybody that I know, without exception, who uses the 120s on the dumbbell press is doing half reps. I'm serious. Look it up right now. Watch a guy do a chest day. They are going to do half reps on the dumbbell press and it has to fucking stop. Because this is what's getting people injured. Just look at what happened to De Devin Physique. He used the exact form that I'm describing and he ended up tearing a pec. Why did he tear a pec? Because he was so used to doing these half reps and one day he went too low, snapped the shit up. And of course, he was equal to things well, the weight was far too heavy. But the point remains, you should never flare your arms out all the way here and do half reps. Nor should you flare out to the side and do full range of motion. You are completely internally rotating your shoulders to the max, causing lots of strain on the AC joint and the pec tendons. In fact, do you get sore right here between the shoulder and the chest? You might think your chest is getting bigger from this, but the pain right here is not a good thing. If you stretch your arm out like in a flying motion and you feel the pain right there, right there, you're straining something, man, and it's not the muscles. So you have to stop doing that bullshit form. Instead, what you want is, number one, retract the scapula, so shoulders up, back, down, and tuck the elbows in right here. It's a simple fix, but no one does this. Nobody fucking does this. I seem to be the only guy on YouTube, or if you look at some powerlifters, some of the intelligent powerlifters do this as well. But all these fucking bodybuilders, they flare like this, and they don't want to try to scap it. It's like, what the fuck? Guys, you're here, right? Tuck here. What's so difficult about pressing in this position? Nothing. That's all you have to do. Retract the scapula, tuck the elbows in a little bit, and then press straight up, and you can flare out as you're coming up. That is how you dumbbell press, okay? Of course, it's going to be more tricep dominant if you do it this way, but that's what you want. You want to make it so that you can actually touch your chest with full range of motion and completely eliminate the risk of tearing a pec and straining your shoulder. If you do this, the risk is maximized. It's like doing a guillotine press. You ever see guys doing heavy guillotine presses? Not really. You're always told to do it with light weight. Okay, well, if that's true, why are guys doing the same fucking form on the dumbbell press, on the incline press, on the shoulder press? A shoulder press is even worse. Guys are doing this, and, and they think... That because the dumbbell is close to the shoulder, that they're getting good range of motion. But what they fail to recognize is that the dumbbells are bulky. So the dumbbells might be this big. So it makes it may, might look like they're doing full range, but they're actually doing legit quarter reps. And that's why all these fuckers can dumbbell press serious weight. But when it comes to barbell movements, they suck ass. I've seen it time and time again. Just look at Jeff's side. Uh, dumbbell press the 120s for high reps. Using what? The form that I described. Doing half reps. What was his one max bench? I don't even think he did 285. He failed at a 285 bench. You see my point? He can't even do 315. Now, if I do the 120s, I'm lucky to get five reps, right? But I'm doing it properly. I am bringing it all the way down, tucking the elbows, no half repping bullshit, and doing it the way that I described. So that is how your dumbbell press the proper way. This will keep you injury free. You're not going to strain your shoulders using this method. You're not going to strain a pec using this method. It's going to be dead stop strength. There's going to be no equal lifting involved. You're going to be lifting weights that were meant for you. Weights that will keep you here in the long run. Nobody likes a shoulder surgery. Nobody likes taking time off in the gym because you tore the pec off the bone, off the tendon, whatever. So do things the way that I'm describing. Please, 
retracting the scapula, tucking the elbows. It doesn't have to be all the way in. This is a neutral press. That's, that's different. You can do that too if you want. If you want to press down here, be my guest. But I'm suggesting instead of being all the way out here and doing half press, tuck it a little bit like here, 45 degrees, and then you could do full range of motion without straining yourself. You see? So that is proper form. First time you do it, yes, you're going to lift less weight. But you know what? It's totally worth it. It's totally worth keeping yourself safe than training like a fucking jackass like a lot of these guys. So that's my advice for you. I uh, hope you learned something. Give me your feedback down below. Have you been using the form that I described? I want to know. And with that, I will talk to you all next time.